When Yosef was seventeen years old, his brothers began to scheme. Cause Father Yaakov gave to him a ketonic passim. A wonder to behold it was, with many colors bright. And the moment they laid eyes on it, it became their heart's delight. They said, hey, Joe is not the boss of us, and we really don't care for his dreams. And we can't wait to get a hold of his ketonet posse. One day Joe came to Dothan town, his brothers and flocks to find. When they saw him coming, they made a plan to tell their dad a lie. Then Reuben begged, don't hurt the lad, so this is what they did. They took his ketonet passim and they threw Joe in a pit. They said, hey, Joe is not the boss of us, and we really don't care for his dreams. We can't wait to get a hold of this ketonet posse. Joe's brothers sat down and they ate their lunch, and they laughed when they heard him cry. Then Yehuda said, let's make a deal with these merchants passing by. So they lifted their brother up out of the pit, and they sold him for Kesef Beshreen. Then they showed their father how he was slain with the bloody Ketonet Passim. They said, hey, look what we found on our way back home. Joe was eaten by an evil beast. Then Yaakov tore his clothes and wept. For his son, who was deceased. Well, the years passed by, and their food ran out, so, so they, they traveled, traveled down, down to Mitzrayim. And who should they bow and scrape before? But the dreamer of the dreams Their eyes nearly popped right out of their heads When Joe told them who he was And the moral of this story is Treat your brother nice Because someday you may be very glad to see Your deliverer wear a smile Tell you what you meant for harm Abba used to save our lives Yaakov and Joe were together again So never give up on your dreams And this is the end to my song 